Okay, come, try. Okay, so I do some guessing. Uh, you all let me know whether you did this error or not. Okay, I do some guessing. Uh. Okay, everybody, anyone multiply these together? Multiply these together, can I know? Anyone? Ah, and you make it like 15 power x plus 1 and then 75 power 2x plus 3. Anyone did this? No, right? Okay, so I'm going to continue because nobody uh, replied me. Okay, so I'm going to let you know uh, because like in physical class, a lot of students did that. Uh, so that would be that would be an error. So why is that an error? Okay, let me just explain it. Uh, because like back then, I remember I said something similar. I said that 2 times 3 equals to 6. Everybody knows that. Okay, but then why you can times the 2 and 3 together and eventually it becomes a 6. Okay, reason. Based on indices, because they have the same power. Uh, that's the reason why you can multiply them together. Okay, that's the reason. Okay, so you get a six power one now. Now, so do you notice this is three power one and this is 15 power one? So it's impossible that you can multiply them together. So that's impossible. Yeah, so what are you gonna do? So what you're gonna do is that you can do this because there are times, right? So five X plus one equals to 15, five two X plus three. And you're gonna move the three over to divide it, to simplify it. Yes, so now you can simplify the 15 and, and three. Lah. So you simplify, you get one and five. And then I'm gonna rewrite it one more time. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite it one more time. So can you see there's a 5 there? So the 5 is actually 5 power 1. Ah. Okay, everyone, tell me. Same base, what can you do to the index? You can plus them. Okay, you can plus them, right? So we're going to start uh, adding them. Okay, so 5x plus 1 equals to, this would be 5, 1 plus 2x plus 3. So the bracket is just to put it over there so that you know we are adding like the other part. Yeah, so if let's say there's a minus, you have to be careful ah, because it might affect the plus 3 behind. Okay, then you have five x plus one. Then you have five. I'll just uh how say expand the information. Tell me what is this part's answer. If I say I'm gonna expand the brackets, mm, tell me, come, come, come. So can you see there's a one plus bracket two x plus three there? So if I say we're gonna expand it, so what I will get? Yeah, what I will get? Two x plus four. Thank you. Oh, then we can compare really. So we can compare this part and this part. So therefore, x plus 1 equals to 2x plus 4. Then you can do your move here and there. So you bring the 2x over, you get a minus 2x. You bring the plus 1 over, you get a minus 1. So minus x equals to 3, x equals to minus 3. Yeah. So that's how you do it. 